The podcast that you're about to enjoy is part of the Low Tree Studios podcast network. To enjoy more great podcasts like this one, visit LowTreeStudios.com. Is that good enough for you? That's... Is that good? But hang on one little one. Better? Better? It's, you're kidding there. Live! Not live. <laughs> <laughs> we wish. Not live. From Low Tree Studios featuring topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from life's daily grind. This is the Jason and Mindy podcast. My name is Jason. Jason and my name is Mindy. Hello, wife. Coming up, I will share the worst. Nope. I will share <laughs> the top 10 most dangerous animals. Uh, I'm going to see if you can guess them. Okay. Uh, and then I've got some interesting facts about being sick. Not great, right? Yeah. Now, who wants to talk about that? Well, I think I got you beat on this one. Okay. I got best sunburn remedies, uh, and not a one of them is the one we is like. the one we like. Well, that's that'll be interesting. To so talk they all about. suck, basically. Oh, okay. And I got the pursuit of happiness. Can't wait for that. Oh, we all need that. Yeah. Don't we? Uh-huh. Uh, and of course, we will talk about entertainment news. You got that right. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got the question of the podcast. We've got. Uh, got uh, a water cooler question. We've I have got, some really difficult Mindy questions. We got those as well. We got your we got quotes. Lots of questions. Um, yeah. There's a lot, a lot of stuff going on on this podcast on this Monday. We missed last week. And why? We'll, tell you, we'll tell you why in just a minute. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom. That's right. Um, we don't need to give you reasons or excuses. We just missed. They're we were not both excuses, very tired. Okay, <laughs> it is a reason. It's a good reason. <laughs> it's a really good reason. Uh, we we d- have we talked about that. So at our other house, we used to be able to store our. Tr- we had a, a larger property. We loved it. We were able to bring the trailer. Our, we had a travel trailer. We, we were able could to put fit it. ten cars. You could put four travel trailers probably back there. Not, <laughs> you wouldn't be able to turn around or park, and nobody could park, but. Uh, that's the one thing that was incredibly difficult to find out here. Mm -hmm. So, um, we'll go back a little, we'll hearken back a little bit to the house hunting that I did and Mindy with me on FaceTime because she was still living in California at the time. Um, there was, there were two properties essentially that it was narrowed down to is this one, this home and another place that was further away late in Lake Washington, uh, it, it, the only thing, it was a two story, very nice, r- very well redone, like completely redone, amazing, gorgeous house. Uh, but it was two story and, and it was I, inland away from it the was water. a little further away. Exactly. A very, uh, lots of property though. Oh my God. The storage, it had two sheds, one massive shed, and it had this pad mm-hmm. for your RV. I mean, couldn't be more perfect. Didn't have a pool. And also was a hundred thousand dollars more, which was a deal breaker for me. Wait, wait, and also was a hundred thousand dollars more. Yeah, that was a little much. But hindsight, we could have probably just saved a little bit for the pool, and that was all we really would have needed. Whereas with this house, we needed a little bit more. We needed plumbing, which we spent <laughs> a lot of money on, right? We did, but we it got still a shed. Was, a pool is much, much more money. To we, true. Well, maybe not. Well, yeah, you're right. It would have been more. Yeah. It would have been more. Still you're absolutely right. It would have been more. Here. Plus, it was $100,000 more. Yeah. Plus, we're right by the beach. Plus, we moved right in front of Chuck and Joni, which is the biggest reward of, them of, all. All, of all things, uh, our good friends. Um, so, where was I going with this? Oh, the reason why we missed. So, we, we've, 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 been, we've had to put our trailer in storage because we had no place to put it on our property. We have room on the side of our house, but it's just not set up for it. We had to cut a wall down. There's a lot that we needed to do. Yes. So, we said, you know what, let's, let's, they, they kept raising our prices and becoming more difficult. So, we're like, well, now let's motiv- motivate ourselves to make this happen. Mm-hmm. We brought the trailer over and we couldn't get it in the back. The, I was sinking into the grass. The Tra- the truck was slipping, you know, well, first of all, I needed to knock a wall down. We wanted to see if it would fit and I, I, I couldn't get it back there. So we're like, we're going to have to well, not do because something. Of, there wasn't enough room. It was just because you were slipping. And, I was slipping. Yeah. I was getting yeah. stuck in holes in the grass. Uh, so we, we, we needed to get pavers. We had to do it. 
we just had to do it. So we had to do something. Mm -hmm. So we cut the wall down and then we, we got, had a paver guy come out and they started doing the paving and we just, but we were just, I, I personally did so much for that project over the weekend. I didn't, I was exhausted on Monday. I'm like, fuck this. I'm not mm -hmm. doing, I'm not doing a damn thing. So that's Plus we why were we, dealing with them on Monday. Yeah. I was working from home half the day and, and we came home and we were dealing, you know, with some of the issues that we ran into here's into a, the evening. For example, this, this was, this was one of them. There was this basketball hoop. <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and, and it was, it, it was in concrete and it was before we bought the house, they'd cut the, the, uh, concrete. They, off. No, no, yeah. they cut the pole out, yeah but the concrete was still in the ground. Mm -hmm. So he starts digging it up and I guess it's messing his saws up cause there was metal in there. And then he, then he, I'm home because these guys kept asking me questions. I just came home. He texts me. He says, Hey, I'm going to have to charge you another $250. We found another concrete block. And it's messing my saws up. I'm like, nah, tell you guys to stop doing it. I'm home. I'll go out and cut that shit up. <laughs> For another 250. We're already paying a big chunk of money to have them do this project. So and we it. already told them it was already at our limit. Yeah, We're so not I, spending no more money. I took care of it. But anyway, it's still not done. Uh, they ran out of pavers. They had to reorder more. The, the pavers are here now. Hopefully they'll be done by tomorrow, which would be amazing. So It would be. Uh, we'll be able to get our trailer back here and, and life will literally be complete at this point. Cause that's the one, one thing that we, yeah, that's thing. the one last thing we do. We still need a gate. I had to tear down the wall. So I still need to put a gate we in, can but, do that though. but the point is, is we'll be, we'll be pretty much where we were minus a pickleball court. That we had in the <laughs> yeah. Backyard. We did have a pickleball court or a tennis court. I yeah. should say. So uh, anyway, we, we had a good weekend. I did anyway. Mm -hmm. um, Mindy, what did you do? I'll, we'll go, I'll go over what I did. I just, I didn't really do a, a whole lot. Uh, tend to the dog because he's mm. got now he's got some kind of dermatitis. So high maintenance man. He's just a high maintenance dog right now. Anyway, so we've been tending to him. I did a little gardening. I did a little sunbathing in the pool. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you fished a snake out of our pool. A three inch, four inch snake. A little tiny thing. It's tiny. Put it in but Chuck's yard. You're like, ah, oh, it's not alive. I'm like, yeah, that thing's alive. Its head's out of the water. So it wasn't moving it, and, and then yeah, it started moving. Yeah. yeah. yeah so yeah, I, I grabbed, fun. I grabbed it with the net and then I took it over Chuck's yard. So we have that in Florida. Yay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a fan. I know you're not. I know mm -hmm. you're not. Yeah. And I, then last weekend I saw the, the, the mama. Yeah. Had to be the, the mama. black racer. It's in my backyard and it's having babies. And now I don't know what it's eating. Cause it doesn't get out in much. My pool. The babies are. I the don't know how was. it got in there, though. We've had three snakes in our pool area so far. How are they getting in there? But they're the, all well, tiny, well, though, right? Okay, so bitty. before before we had this, the, where, where the door is on the backside, we had two doors that come into our screen enclosure, and one of those doors had a pretty major gap below. Mm, yeah, that's That's right. how the first two got in. So I fixed that. I put something down there for it. This little guy... It was so small. It could probably get in anywhere. It was tiny. It was, I thought it was, it's this, it was the size of, by the way, an inchworm, a, a worm that I saw earlier. And I was like, Oh fuck. Is that a snake? It was a worm. It was moving really slow. Like a worm does, mm. but that worm was four inches. The snake wasn't even that big. Uh, yeah. It was so cute. <laughs> it's not cute. It was cute. so cute. That it's little snake. It's not cute. I thought it was cute. Snakes are not cute. Well, I had a kind of a cool Friday, uh, Wednesday last week, my friend Jorge, one of the first musicians that I met out here, uh, he's in a band in Orlando and their drummer, uh, had a death in the family. So they had a vacancy that night and he called me and asked me if I wanted to play a gig with them. Uh, so I said, yes, of course. I just say yes, even though I don't know some of the songs and I just went for it and had, I had a blast. I went all the way out to Orlando, you know, place I've never been before. And, and, uh, I had a really good time with them and got paid a little bit. That was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then Saturday I played a pickleball tournament and I knew it was going to go this got way. Your ass beat. Yeah. I knew it was going to go this way. I really didn't get my ass beat. I was winning all of those matches and then I got Sounds like you got I your got, ass beat. Listen, I got tired <laughs> and I got overheated. Yeah, not, yeah. Overheated. I was up on the one guy, 10 to 6. So you win by, you, you first to 11. 10 to 6, that sounds like you, I was up you got on, beat. I was up on him 6 to nothing in the game. Mm. Okay, and then I started getting tired. I'm not saying I lost fair and square. After that last match, I'm like, it was four, four matches. There was still more to play. 
Because then there were then you're seeding. Now I'm in last. I would have had to play those people again. Um, I said, "Fuck it, I'm out of here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die." <laughs> I know it gets so hot here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get into the world's ten most dangerous animals. World's most ten. Wait. Ten. Yep. <laughs> let's have a drink. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, how, is snakes on there? Black mamba. World's 10 most dangerous animals. Uh, snakes are on the list. They're number three. Mm, yeah. They kill 138,000 humans per year. Venomous snakes, Mindy, not black racers that eat black frogs. Mambas? and No. Black oh. mambas are huge. Yeah, well, that one in the garden like is eight huge. eight feet. Uh, how, how, how big can a black mamba get? Let's ask Siri. <laughs> Let's see what she says. How big can a black mamba get? Let's see if she says anything. She she's not talking to me. She's being a bitch. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Fourteen her. feet. Fourteen. Fourteen feet. feet, Mindy. Wow, that's so. Big. You're freaking out over a three foot snake. No, I was talking about the one in the garden last weekend. That one was at least five. maybe three. No way. God. Your measurements off. Thank- I think it grew from last year. It did. I mean, I appreciate that your measurements off, because <laughs> I'm sure when I'm naked in front of you, I look impressive. <laughs> but all right, <laughs> the white mamba. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> all right. So snakes. What's next? Um, how about a lion? Lion is number ten. Okay. Guess how many though. They, they kill a year. Uh, 10? 200. Only 200. Compared to 138,000. What, what are they killing? Humans. Oh, humans. Oh, yeah, okay. Ten, humans. World's 10 most dangerous animals that, that kill humans. Sorry, let's, I should specify that. Let's do, but I don't know if this is considered an animal. A spider? No. But you're on the right track because there are things that... Because that's a rack enough... It's a, it's a, yeah, it's yeah, an okay. arachnid. Creepy, it's an arachnid is what they call it. Arachnid. It's got it. Let's go legs. with, um, mosquito. Some obvious, mosquito is number one. Yeah, I knew it. Number one. Bastards. If I lived anywhere where they're deadly, I would be dead. You probably. I would be dead. Because they love I, you. I go outside for we don't have a gate right now. <laughs> he bitches every time he goes out. We don't have a gate right now. So so instead of just letting Blue go out and then I shut the screen and I'm behind the screen, I got to go out and make sure he doesn't run out the gate. Because this dog can <laughs> never find a fucking toilet. <laughs> and he shits on the run, dude. <laughs> like he'll start pooping and then he's walking and pooping. <laughs> He never can make a nice, neat pile. I don't get it. It doesn't make a pile. No. It's just dribbled all over the place like a horse walking and pooping. Anyway, so I'll go out there and make sure he's got the gate. Six mosquitoes jumped on me. Yeah. Biting me. <laughs> it's frustrating. All right, mosquitoes, number one. Did I tell you? 725,000 humans per year, mostly through disease. Yeah, they're bad. How about flies? Not on the list. Because they're not awesome. in the top ten. List. I can't stand flies. I can't stand flies on my food. Um, okay, so going back to animals. Yeah, plenty of plenty of animals that you should be guessing here. How? Okay, we already did snakes. We did spiders. We did mosquitoes. I'm gonna go with. Are there other cats? Mm, no. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Mm-hmm. How about? Rhinos. No. Close though. There's, there's elephants. Elephants number eight. I would, those are the two I was like. They kill six six hundred humans. Only six hundred though. I mean worldwide. Yeah, that's that's not that much. That's not very much. How about um the bears? No bears. No bears, huh? How about getting um stampeded by those buffaloes? No buffaloes. No buffaloes. Um, let's go with dogs. Dogs, number four. Mm. Dogs kill 49,000 people per year, mostly through rabies. Mm. 
Wow, that's incredible. Must be in other countries though that they don't have like. Well, well think about not dog vaccinated. Well, yeah, it's 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 most dangerous, meaning they kill humans. Dogs are around a lot of humans. You know. Yeah. Um. What else is around a lot of humans? Mm, how about alligators? Crocodiles, or crocodiles. are alligators. Are di- they don't really kill a lot of humans. So um, crocodiles. Crocodiles. Okay. They kill a thousand humans per year. Um. Anything in the ocean? Nothing in the ocean. We have this hate for sharks. They're not in the top ten. I saw this cool video today about someone that raised a shark and it recognized it when it was diving in the water and it came up to it and it, cause it likes to be petted. Oh my gosh. And it was the coolest thing and to that watch. That shark's going to be in trouble. Thinking it's- um, let's see. What else you got? Uh, am I, I'm missing something, huh? You're missing one really big one. How about it's a, number like two. the monkey family, like gorillas or Mm-mm. no? You're missing number two. Number two's big. Number two's big, huh? Big. Most dangerous animals. How about a pig? Wild pigs. Nope. Okay, so if, so you've you've said think about this. Just just put it in perspective of, of numbers, just gross numbers. You said mosquitoes, which kill seven hundred twenty five thousand people, almost a million. Mm. Three quarters of a million. Um, snakes kill hundred and thirty eight thousand. I said number two. What else kills in the hundreds of thousands per year. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Would it be in the... And also I gave you another hit, hint. Uh, dogs are around humans a lot. What else is around humans a lot? Mice? Mm-mm. Rats? Mm-mm. Um, 400,000. Cats? No. Okay. I, that was dumb. Don't it's it's an that. obvious answer. It's an obvious answer. Everybody's screaming it. I know it. I can hear it. Maybe. They could be. It's a little bit of a trick question. Somebody out there is going, you idiots. Not me, because I already know the answer. But I don't know that I would get it, because it'll throw you off. Because don't, we don't think of... It as an animal? These as animals. <laughs> Oh, how about like, like the common bacteria or like. Mm -mm. It's it's, it's, it's an animal. Oh, it's an animal. It breathes air. Oh, it does breathe air. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess a fungus does too. Everything does really. Mosquitoes, I guess, do. Do they? They have to. Um, golly. Well, let me, let me go down the list a little bit. I'm going to save number two. Okay. Because it's the one you're hung up on. You said lions. Mm-hmm. Hippos kill 500 humans per year, number nine. You said elephants. We said crocodiles. Number six is scorpions. They kill 3,300 humans per year. Uh, number five is assassin bugs. I've never heard of these, but they kill 10,000 humans per year, mostly through I've never heard Chaga's disease. We said dogs. We said snakes. And we said mosquitoes, number one. The only one remaining is number two. You're around this all the time. I'm around it all You're the time. You're around these animals all the time. Birds? Sometimes you might even want to kill them. Mm, God. You're around this type of animal all the time. You're around one right now. Humans. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. That and I, that's not number one. Humans kill four hundred thousand. Humans. I'm surprised that's not number through one. homicide alone. And what was the number one? Mosquitoes. Oh, okay. by far. Yeah, there's a lot of those bastards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, number two, humans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Did you know, Mindy? Some people in Japan who have become accustomed to wearing a face mask have uh, turned to the help of a professional to learn to smile again after the country lifted its recommendation to wear masks for COVID prevention in March. Many people seemingly realized that they had actually forgotten how to smile. I I, I remember that, mm-hmm. knowing I didn't have to smile at you. You know, not you, but in people, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. but I also would also maybe make my smile a little bigger because you could see my face raise or my mask raise up. 
mm-hmm. you knew that I was smiling at you. But yeah, how weird was that? That was that such was a weird time. Such a weird time. I uh, hated every moment of it. Hated breathing in that thing. Oh, I was so. I, I wondered if we'd ever get back to where we are now. I wondered. I was like, are we ever going to get back to hugging people again? I know, shaking hands again. Wasn't there a time where you just thought I, this I, is never going to be normal? I did. I did. I thought. I thought that for sure. What an awful place it would be if to it never get there. To again. never get there again. Yeah. Yeah, I hated it. I hated it yeah. every day. I, I hated didn't think it, it was going to change. It almost made you too. For at least for me, I th- this is fun to reflect back on because now that it's behind us a little bit, it almost made me feel like I didn't even want to leave my house because it meant that I had to wear that stupid mm-hmm. mask and that I I couldn't be myself in front of people, which I do like to smile. I do like to show my emotion. Mm-hmm. I do like to be me and to wear a mask just felt weird. Yeah, it was. And then also not to breathe air correctly. Fresh air, yeah. It would just, oh God, I just didn't even want to leave. I became a hermit. Yeah, it was, it was a bummer, but it was, you know, it was a good bummer. I'll tell you why. It motivated us, mm. you know, to look, look, look at past, look at things differently, yeah, sure you know, did, and it? where, where you live and how, where you live how is different from you. other places, you yeah. know, and how their policies impact your, the way you choose to live, the way you want to live, you know, mm. um, so uh, I, I think really, people take that for granted. I think people that, that are here in Florida can, can take it for, they, they, they weren't part of a state they weren't that, that shut the world down and shut everything down. And I know everybody shut down, but states like Florida started to wake up from that a little sooner, you know, and, and we flew here in 2020 so that we could get away and be free a little bit Yeah, because they lifted the mask mandates and, all of that stuff. And it, it, when we flew back home, it continued for many, many, many more months. Yeah. You know, um, I just don't know that people really appreciated what people in California and places like that went through. Um, absolutely. But anyway, I can absolutely, and just one more little small thing. I can absolutely understand when I read about how people were so depressed and, and wanted to off themselves because, it just put them in a really dark place. I think what was interesting about us is that we, uh, we were, and I'm doing air quotes, essential. So really the only thing that changed for us was social life. But then we just adjusted. Like we just We'd invited people at our over house. to our house. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. Come on over. We, we pretty much had a party pad anyway. Yeah. So we just invited everybody Everybody over. came over. We didn't stop. Yeah. We didn't stop. We just didn't go to bars anymore. We actually saved a lot of money. You know, mm-hmm. we just didn't go out to eat and do stuff like that anymore. But that was a bummer. I, we enjoyed doing that. We really did. Yeah. So we'd order in, have people over, or we'd barbecue and mm-hmm. we just kept, Game it, we kept it going. So it did, for us, I think if, if we were work from homers or we had owned a business or something like that, yeah, I think our lives would have been a little bit different, but we just kept motoring through, you know? <laughs> yep. Um, entertainment news. <clears throat> It's entertainment news with Mindy. You're gonna get yourself some entertainment news. All right, Amazon Prime Video is reportedly about to jump on the commercial bandwagon. Mm. Following the recent introduction of Netflix with ads and Disney Plus with ads, the Amazon back streamers reportedly in the early stages of introducing a Prime Video ad supported subscription tier. The company is reportedly looking at several ways and uh, it could implement ads such as showing more ads to existing Prime subscribers and giving them an option to pay more for or ad free, which I would completely pay for. It is also said to be in talks with both Warner Brothers, Discovery, and Paramount Global about adding the ad-based tiers of their streaming services through Prime Video channels. So stay tuned, folks. Mm. In other news, Shannon uh, Doherty revealed on Wednesday that her stage four breast cancer has spread to her brain. On Instagram, the Beverly Hills 90210 star shared a video of her CT scan from January in which doctors determined that the cancer has 
Metastatize. How do you say that? Metastatize. Metastatize. You you didn't do it. Nope. (laughs) Try again. Strike two. You're out after this. Metastatize. Nope. You're out. You're out. (laughs) You go back to the... You go back. (laughs) I don't know how to say that. You struck out. (laughs) Say it, Jason. Metastasize. Metastasize. There you go. Yay. If you don't get three, you don't get four chances. All right. The previous day, she shared a clip herself getting fitted for the mask for her first radiation brain treatment. She said of being confined in the small space of the CT machine, my fear is obvious. I'm extremely claustrophobic, and there was a lot going on in my life. And that is very sad news. It is. It is. Netflix subscribers may want to cover their eyes because the Bird Box sequel Mm. is on its way. The streamer has released a teaser for Bird Box. Barcelona, the follow-up in the 2018 hit, which starred Sandra Bullock, and was not one of the most watched, and was one of the most watched yes, movies in was. Netflix history. Good. But Bullock uh, does not star in the new film, which centers around a blindfolded father played by Mario Casas as he navigates his own survival journey through the desolate streets of Barcelona after mysterious force decimates the world's population while protecting his daughter. According to the trailer, the rules of survival remain the same. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. It's kind of like perspective from another part of the world or mm-hmm. something like that, yeah. And uh, Bam... Mar- Mar- Margera. Margera yeah. is uh, a danger to himself and others, according to the police officers who located him in a L.A. in LA and promptly put him in a 5150 uh, psychiatric hold. After tracking his phone, LAPD officers found him Sunday at Trejo's Tacos, mm. the L.A. hotspot owned by Danny Trejo. Reports say they made contact with Margera, Mag- however you say his name. It's Margera. Margera. And found his erratic <laughs> speech and behavior combined with recent suicidal threats. He's made reason reason enough to call a psych evaluation team, which determined he needed to be 5150. So that's pretty sad is he uh, like he's a a raging alcoholic well it says that last week the former jackass star threatened to smoke crack until he died if he doesn't get to see his son so he's way out there yeah he is and lastly i had are you serious the music's been well gone but we went we ran yeah yeah yeah, but the music i'm going to do it anyway jason (laughs) so ed sheeran i thought this was interesting hinted on the today show that uh uh he's genre shifted mm. and he's gonna be doing uh country music really yeah he had been he's been living in um nashville for a couple of years and he's fallen in love with the country music good everybody does it's good stuff and that jason is your entertainment <sighs> news so put that in your pipe and smoke i don't, it. I don't smoke out of a pipe yeah you do no you don't you Mm-mm. smoke a cigar yep Hey, baby, you know the time has come for you to answer the question. The question of the podcast is coming your way real, real fast. Yeah, baby, you know the time has come for you to answer the question. That's right. The time has come. I want to shout out to Chuck and Joni, who, if they're listening... Hopefully they are. They're on the road right now somewhere in their little little sprinter van that they purchased. And uh, they're having the they're time of the, their they're life. They're living the van life. So just want to give you guys a shout out. Hope that sounds like so I much hope fun. you're enjoying so yourself. Hope you're enjoying it. All right. Question of the podcast is this. Hmm. What do you wish you were better at saying no to? Mm. Yeah. No to pretty good at saying no but no you're not Uh, you know what I'm good at is saying yes and then bitching about it later I'm really good at that (laughs) (laughs) what are we bad at saying no to you haven't thought about this this is something you you post and you usually give me time to think about it well hey there's a first for everything (laughs) um how about like when we go when we say we're not going to go out to eat and we do it anyway? Nah. No? I know it's kind of weak, but I gave it a try. Um, I think I'm... How about when we're out and uh, we say we're not going to spend money? That's perfect. And yeah. then we 
yeah, we, we end up spending, we, we, we really bust the bank. We're not as good at saying no to impulse spending, but we're getting good. We're we, getting really okay, good. Okay. It's about half and half. Yeah, fitty, so, fitty, fitty. So, so sometimes, you know, when there's something really like looking at us in the face, yeah. we have a hard time saying no in the moment. I would say. I don't I'm, say we have regrets though. I would say we have a hard, I have personally a hard time saying no at work mm. when I wish I would just lay boundaries down. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, you know, not. but it's one of those things like how, how do you say no when your manager asks you to do something that's called insubordination, you know, you get, you get taught that you can't say no, it's not cool. You know, it's mm. kind of like, well, no, I don't really want to do that. I'd rather do this. I'm good at it. Why don't you want why, why wouldn't you put me in something that I'm good at doing instead of doing something I'm not good at doing? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't you want people to do things they're good at? Right. Yeah. I mean, I guess you want people to be well-rounded, but still, that's, that's one thing that I would say. I will say do one of the things that a smaller thing, I, I sometimes have a hard time saying no to the TV. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because it's so just. A piece to just sit down and watch. Sit and relax. Yeah. Sit and relax. Yeah. All right. So other people. Todd said my brain, specifically executive distinction, where my brain knows exactly mm. the task in which I should be doing, but it refuses to let me do them. Mm. I often zone out or get <laughs> what is referred to as time blindness, where I lose track of time because of hyper fixation. Oh, nice. Mm hmm. That's a good explanation. Good answer. Great answer. Steve said the wrong women. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That's no Got good. Got a big booty. You just follow right down that rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, I think you could say that for a couple of them. <laughs> uh, Jim said going to work. Oh, Jim, say no to work once in a while. Yeah, whatever, bro. You're saying you're a workaholic. He Come is. on, Jim. You know he is. Yeah, Jessica. but does he work while he's there? I don't know. No, that's, that's, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Jessica says being lazy. Mm. Mm, yeah, we all have that. No, no, that she has has trouble saying no to being lazy. Wait, oh. yeah, I can't. No. What? What? Wait, I have, yeah, I have trouble sure. saying no to being lazy. Yeah, when lazy go, says, "Hey, be lazy," it could be. Both you could ways. say no. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Rebecca says. Just saying no, period. That's my biggest flaw. Uh, and then Daryl was agreeing with her. They're having a little mini conversation. Oh. And then Daryl says, and if I was strong enough to say no, I ended up crying about it later, feeling guilty, yeah. overthinking. Yeah. And she says, eating food when I don't need it. Ooh, that's a good one. Carol says, snacks and fat, fattening foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Mm, that's really good. Sugar. I have trouble saying no to sugar. Sugar. That, that should have been our number one. Yep. Rodney says, telling women they can't have me. Oh, Rodney. Yeah, that's I have that I have that problem too. Okay, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> uh Nanette says eating. Uh Bell says, or I should say, Christine. I'm not sure if she wants me to call her Bell. I know she's Bell on the side, but you know. <laughs> Bell on the side. <laughs> okay. She says just literally working overtime. It's not mandatory, uh -huh. but I work it. I love the money, well, but that's... I feel guilty for not working Saturdays when they ask mm. after a 50 hour uh, work week. I still work it every time, but I would feel guilty if I didn't. Work it, girl. Work it. Get that money. Get that money while you're young. All right, Carol. <laughs> Carol Chapel says wine and TV. Get it, girl. Get it. I'm drinking some wine right now, yeah. Carol. Get it. Stephanie says everyone. Yeah. Stephanie, you don't have a problem with saying no. Come no, on. I think she does, though. I do. I do. She says yes. She does. Oh, yeah. You know what? She I, does. She does. She yeah. gets herself yeah. wrapped up in too many Yeah, many, she many says things. yes to everything. I mean, they're gone every weekend. Yep. And that's. Drives David nuts. David would say no. But yep. he, he has problems saying no to, to Stephanie. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. They and, both have problems. But you know what? It's 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 the same. You have trouble saying, nah, you fucking say no to me all the time. I do what say I, no to you. Saying? I'm not going. All right. I well, said no to you this weekend. I didn't want to go to your damn gig. Well, it was late. It you was probably late. wouldn't have had that much fun. I'd anyway. be sitting around, you know? And lastly, Christina says Jake, which is her son. Oh, good so. old Jake. That is it. Thank you, Mindy. Appreciate that. And listeners, thank you very much. We love you guys. Uh, Stephanie and David, they're in uh they're on a cruise right now. 
somewhere. They just got back from some other. They they've had a crazy uh, bit of travel. They they went they went to Chicago. Mm-hmm. David went to Nashville. They went they went to Laughlin, watched yeah. Queen. Queen? No. Journey. Journey. Um then they went to this thing. They're they're going uh, they they're they're gone now. They flew into Miami Saturday late. No, wasn't it for their honeymoon or something? They went they've already been done that, right? Uh no. They they it's it's now. They're there now. I think they went to Cancun or something. Well, they did maybe for their honeymoon, but right now they're in some. They're some, in some other place. Yeah, they're they're taking a cruise with their fr- David's friend from Chicago. Oh, yeah, awesome. They're enjoying themselves. Well, you know what? For Next year we're going to be doing the same thing. Yeah, we got our passports. We did finally passports. All this time. Pretty excited about it. Uh, did I say what the question? I, I think I did. All right, well, let's move on. Oh, it's your segment. Mm-hmm. I don't even just going to shut up. <laughs> All right. I have best sunburn remedies. This is mm. going to be great, folks. We're going to whiz right through this. Mm-hmm. First up, they say aloe vera. It works best when sourced straight from the plant. Okay. Mm. I'll give them that. Okay. If it's sourced straight from the plant, yeah. it probably does have some amazing healing properties. Probably. But when you get it in a bottle or in the gel, that stuff sucks. Don't even try it. It doesn't work. Yeah. Waste of money. Yeah. It does, one, it's not really, a, it doesn't really a cooling effect either. No, no, not at all. It's kind of gross and sticky and yeah, uh, uh, off the plant, it's gross and sticky. It is. It really is. It's kind of, I don't know if I would do it, but anyway, next one up is a cool bath or shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that does help the skin cool down, but it doesn't last that long. It also dries your skin out. Absolutely. So now you got to lather up with a good moisturizer. Uh, drink lots of water. Obviously you are. It's a good tip for life. You're not hydrated. So they say drink lots of water. Mm -hmm. You could drink, um, you know, things like, or eat watermelon, uh, cucumber, strawberries, tomatoes, grapefruit, cantaloupe, those kinds of things with With water in them. Water in them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, pain relievers. Again, they only work, you know, for about. An hour. And yeah. And you're back to feeling... Being miserable. Miserable. Yeah. And then the lastly, they say cold compress, please. You know, uh, so we'll go into what your number one is. And I agree it is It is the number one. You should do this. The it's number... It's not meant for this, but it works. It's not meant for it. As a matter of fact, I used to use it when I was a teenager. Uh, I said it many times on this podcast. It is... Noxzema. Noxzema. Ding, 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 ding. It's got this cr- incredible cooling effect, and that cooling effect, I think, w- there's probably some stuff in the Noxzema that helps with your skin, but the cooling effect alone, I think, brings the inflammation down, mm-hmm. and I every time I've had a bad sunburn, I've only had to apply that shit twice. Once or twice. Twice. And, and I was fine. It's done. The, all the pain went away. Yep. Yeah. It like almost draws the heat out it's, uh, amazing it's phenomenal dude <laughs> and it so, lasts it's lasting it's and not cheap because mm-hmm. a bottle of aloe vera or any other of these remedies they say yeah. they don't work and you spend a lot of money for them but a big old thing of noxzema five bucks get it get it girl all right uh on to the pursuit of happiness which we all want yeah. So this Gretchen Rubin, author of Life in Five Senses, says that she spent 10 years studying what makes us happy in life. But there's Whiskey. And wine. But there's something she overlooked the entire time, and that's the fact that there are ways our senses can spark happiness. Oh. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. So number one, if you need a burst of energy and cheer, use your sense of smell, Jason. Take a deep whiff. Of clean laundry or fine wood Mm-mm. at the hardware store. Fine wood? <laughs> I'll show you some fine wood. <laughs> oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> anyway, with smells, you can't save them, so enjoying a scent is all about the present, yet it can also transport you to the past. And, what is this voice you're doing? And nostalgia is such a Are you trying to be all peaceful thing. and shit or what? I don't know. Okay. I like it. Keep stuff. going. Keep going. Like. Stressed out, Jason? Uh, yes. Use your sense of touch. Oh. Why? Touch you... them titties. Oh. <laughs> That'll always help. 
Why do you think someone invented stress balls mm-hmm. and fidget spinners? I'll show you some stress balls. <laughs> God. Okay. Some elderly care homes <laughs> keep cuddly throw pillows because it's very comforting Is to that the what touch. They do? Is that what they do for stress? <laughs> I don't know. And elderly care homes, they're <laughs> knocking boots. But you know what? You hear that a lot. There's a lot of like venereal disease. Yeah, I've heard. Stuff going around. I've heard. Anyway, it's kind of gross. Yeah. Anyway. Why is that gross? Get it on. You don't, there's no risk. I'm going to get pregnant. <laughs> that means they've been banging a lot and a lot of different ones because there's venereal disease. So what? Have oh, fun. Gross. Got bumps on your junk. So what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the title. Bump, bumps on your junk. <laughs> I've got a couple of other ones. <laughs> Ideas. All right. Uh, I'll get wrote that one down. <laughs> All right. Feeling distracted and unproductive, Jason? Most of the time, yes. Use your sense of sound. Mm. You may find that you may find that the more you can control your surroundings, the less bothered you are by arrogant mm. noises. Maybe ask your partner to use earbuds on video calls if you both work at home. Yeah, I like to tell him to put on his earphones a lot. He's banging on his drums. I do and- that a lot, yes. It's true. Anyway, put your phone on silent when you need to concentrate. Just as uh, it's a relief to clear clutter, it's a, it's good to clear uh, clatter. Clatter? Yeah. Clutter. No, it says clatter. Clatter. Yeah, clatter. Hmm, interesting. Interesting word. Uh, clatter is like sound clutter, maybe is what mm-hmm. she's trying to imply. There. I think so. Yeah. Number four, need a creative spark, Jason? Uh, not really. I, I have a lot of those. <laughs> you, you don't You don't have enough uh, opportunity to use your creative spark. I, I, I'm getting there though, right? Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff's come my way. Yeah. Crazily. Use your sense of sight. Just try to spot the small details give yourself an assignment to spot a certain color Mm -hmm. while out walking or really look at the trees or people's hats Mm. the more you look the more beauty you'll find and you just might also find inspiration i always look up i'm looking at birds clouds Mm -hmm. i love the clouds out here the big pillowy yep we hear them all the time Uh, all the time i think last one is number five what to feel Oh, want to feel closer to people? Yes. Use your sense of taste. Oh, Oh. taste. Okay, I'm not sure where this is going. Huh. Yep, enjoying unique foods and flavors with others is Mm. an ancient custom for a reason. Make a date with a friend or relative you haven't hung out with in a while. We just did that. Yeah, we did. We hung out with some friends that we met when we first got out here. Uh, Susan and Steve, and we had a nice dinner. It was very, very expensive. It was, dinner, but it was very good. Place called River Rocks. Uh, it was like sushi grade tuna. It was phenomenal. Mm-hmm. They had a really good uh, uh, bourbon beverage that I enjoyed as well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's pretty good. That's it. Well, thank you. Let's move on then. <laughs> Mindy. Yep. A rat can fall from a five-story building without injury. Wow. Yeah. I'm sure they do, too. Fact. Japan has one vending machine for every 40 people. Japan is thought to have one of the highest densities of vending machines in the world. I've heard that. And they sell various types of beverages. Uh, others feature ice cream, noodles, and disposable cameras. They've got a lot of shit in there. We watched Kara and Nate, which is an online thing. Uh, look up YouTube. Kara, Kara and YouTubers. Nate. And they, uh, oh, YouTube, yep. And they, they've they been to Japan, and they a lot of ending. A lot of ending there. Yep. Uh, Mindy, forest fires move faster uphill than downhill. I heard that, and I find that very strange. Why? How it could travel that. It's way easier. The the heat is rising. Oh, so that's true. It goes Duh. right up the hill, yep. That makes sense. Fact, lemons float, but limes sink. Because limes are denser than lemons, they drop to the bottom of the glass while lemons float at the top. That's super interesting. Great fun facts. And they're done. So, uh, you know what? I got to mention something. Okay. There's one coworker that yeah. knows we podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Dwayne. Hmm. 
there's nobody else that does. No, I try not to tell anyone. I wonder what Dwayne thinks of you and I because we podcast. Mm. Because our personalities are completely different at work. It's work. I know Dwayne knows that side of me. Thank God. It's work. But I know it's work. It's a, I know. It's but a I, professional I, I, environment. I, <laughs> I mean, hang out with me outside of work. This is. I wonder what how Dwayne would be like outside of work. Probably uh, more talkative. Um, I wonder if he's Rastafarian or you know. I think he's super he funny. I think he's actually really kind of a funny person. Yeah, I think he's I think got so a great too. personality. He's got a good sense of humor. Mm-hmm. I think at work we just you know we all wear masks. I we have know. a mask I we got to wear. Know. You know. Anyway, I just want to bring that up. Hi, Dwayne. Hi, Dwayne. All right, down with the sickness. This is uplifting. Yeah, down uh, with the sickness. So for how system of a down? No, that's a uh, limp biscuit. No, it is not. Gonna make me do it. Down with the sickness. Mm-hmm. No, no, you don't Google it. I will. Hang on. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> You're just going to do it anyway, aren't you? Okay, down. Came right up. Oh, song by Disturbed. Oh, it is Disturbed. So, so we're, we're both, both wrong. wrong. Yeah, fuck uh. it. I don't, I don't want to listen to Disturbed. I don't like Disturbed. Um, wow. It's been for, a while. For how long will you fight symptoms of sickness before you before finally admitting you're officially sick? Oh, God, forever. Uh, according to a survey, more than uh, one in four of us sort of believe we can will our sickness away. A poll of 2,000 adults in the U.S. found that until they have cold sweats or chills. I totally believe this. 48% uh, believe they can fight it away. Totally Until believe they it. have the cold sweats or chills. I totally believe it. A fever, 46%. Or see green when they blow their nose, 21%. That's Ugh. when they all, then, then they go, oh, like, I'm sick. Uh-huh. Before that, they feel like they're, they can will it away mm-hmm. with their mind. Airborne it, vitamin. They, they just won't admit it. Usually that means it takes about two days of symptoms before they admit they're unwell. I think it's sooner, personally. Uh, and almost 60% said they have at some point used the excuse that it's just allergies. Minnie does this shit a lot. When someone asks if they're, if they, <laughs> if they're feeling okay, uh, they say it's just allergies. Uh, the one poll survey also found that more than one third, 36% said they are more likely to carry on and go to work the first day they feel under the weather rather than take a sick day. Yeah, of course. But their healthy coworkers aren't too impressed. 71% said they feel it's rude to come to work well, when you're sick. Le- well, let, let's define this a little bit because Go for it. I'm not coming to work when I know I'm like sick. When sick. you like, see the boogers or you get the chills or the sweats. Right. That's when you know you're I sick. I know I'm sick. But the weird part is you're most contagious probably in that first day. Well, but then... Does anybody really know for a fact? I don't think you do know until you know. Exactly. And so and those are signs that, you most know, most people do go to work until they can't. I agree. You know, settle down, dude. I was just but, saying. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I don't, if you're a little sick and you're at work, I don't care if you got fever, sweats, chills, you got big green mucus, then you should be staying. Home. There was a time. When people did that shit anyway. No, well, recently at at the current job we worked for, Mm -hmm. I won't say how long ago, but (laughs) they were just coughing and hacking. And it was the first time that I got COVID. Oh. Mm. And they were at work. And I know it for a fact. And then you gave it to me. Thank you. I did. Well, anyway. um, Yeah. I usually fight illness. I don't know. I can tell. I think I can tell right away. You know, I'm like, uh oh, this is different. This is because I don't know know. because I don't normally have allergies and stuff like that. So fatigue is one. Um, uh, I think there's a shift, don't you? I can totally feel it. Yeah, there's. I usually feel it within the first day, and I'm like, uh oh, I'm getting sick. But what I'll do is I'll go. Let me sleep through the night. See how I feel in the morning. Mm 
the next morning after starting to feel it, that's when you absolutely know. Because when you're tired, when you're sleepy like that and you get up in the morning, you know you're sick. Yep. You know it. it. It's that first, you know, hour of getting up, you're like, oh my God, this is miserable. Yep. Yep. And I just think there's a shift too in your body. You, something happens where you go, nope. Yep. This is not working. I agree. <laughs> Well, that was that. Water cooler question. I like this one uh, a lot, actually. It's not I'm probably hyping it more than I should, but I, I do like this one. You may get it right away. If you asked me this question, I would get it right away. Hmm. Right, right fucking away. I would get it. You would, would you? 100. That's because you're looking at it. Okay. No, no, but I, I, I would get it. Over half of us who have one of these in our car say we almost never use it. What is it? CD player. I never used it. Very, no, not CD player. I rip CD player. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I had it, man. No, like, well, Psych. Uh, cassette player? No. Um, okay, no. so. Modern car. Modern car. Oh, gosh. I know what you're mm -hmm. going to say. Mm -hmm. It's the backup. Um, the backup no. TV thing. I, I use that. I thought you said, no, you. Every time I back up in the garage, I use it. Well, yeah, you use it for that, but you're always in the parking lot. I use lot. the sensor. I use the mirrors because I'm a man. <laughs> I use the. <laughs> <laughs> I use the the backup camera when I'm pulling up to the trailer. Mm. That's super important to see that. Now this is I don't have one of these in my current vehicle. You don't. Bluetooth. I have that in my current vehicle. Yeah. You don't, but I do. <laughs> I don't have any of this shit in my car. Um, you have this. I do? Mm-hmm. I have <gasps> it. Sunroof. I Damn it. I knew it. <laughs> I love mine. You use it all the time. I, I never used mine. I hated it. I fucking hated it. And in I the made mini. you get it. You did. I had the sunroof. I'm like, I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> it has the moon roof. You can see and the moon. And we'd be driving down the road and be it's like, it's so fucking so loud. It's so loud in here. I hate it. You could hear all the wind noise road on that fucking noise. thing. I'd have to crack it a little bit so that I got less noise. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't hear my stereo. I hated that thing. Yeah. Absolutely hated it. Your wife made you do it. You did. All right. <laughs> Tough questions, huh? Yeah, this one here, I don't even think I can answer for myself. Ooh, I like it. Let's go. I can answer this one for you. Mm. Maybe you could answer this one for me. Maybe. What is the most badass thing you've ever done? Mm. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I've done a lot of badass things. Well, I can answer it for you, but I... Well, tell I, me what you think it is for me. Um, got on stage and did comedy. I don't think that's the most badass. It may not be the most, but it's one of the things that I would consider like, oh, geez. Well, that's scary. I wouldn't do that. That's one of the most scary things I've done. I think one of the most badass things that I... See, I've... and I think it would be different for everybody. What badass would mean. So when you think what, of it... Okay, what, so what is... Let's define badass. Like, whoa, that was epic. But it could mean different... What does badass mean to you? Um... Took some nuts, had a good time. It was rewarding because badass is like, that was it's, badass. It kind of means both to me that like it took some guts or it could be rewarding as well. It's both. It took guts to do it and it was rewarding when you did it. <clears throat> took okay. guts to do it and it was rewarding when you did it. My first time doing comedy was not rewarding. It sucked. Nobody thought my jokes were, jokes were good. I was nervous. I shit myself on the way down. I had Indian food and I shit Indian food. I, I shit curry on the way down. <laughs> God, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a great experience. It wasn't <laughs> rewarding. That's why I never did it again. Yeah. Yeah. So 
okay. And the, I don't know if this counts, but, um, you know, what I would consider badass, I guess. And, and, and it was rewarding. It took some time, but it was when I made the decision that uh, my marriage wasn't going to work mm. and I threw everything I owned in one weekend mm. in a U-Haul and drove a U-Haul truck the size of a semi down a road. I never ever drove a truck that size in my life, much less loaded <laughs> all that shit in there. Yeah. Almost by myself. I did have a, a, a help, you know, a few hours at a time. But, um, yeah. And then, you know, the part that uh, was rewarding was, you know, at the other end of it all, I made it work for myself because I really didn't have a pot to piss pretty, in. Yeah, that's pretty badass. I'd say that's badass. So. I'd say that's badass. You? I, you know what? Uh, there's a lot of things. Um, but if you're going to, if we're going to go there, like, I think moving here was pretty badass. No. Yeah. 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 I think, I think m having the courage to, to do that. I was thinking individual, but like together badass. that, that was badass. And I know there's people out there that do stuff like that all the time. They've lived everywhere, you know? Um, but for someone like me, I lived in one state my entire life. I thought I never would leave that state. Mm hmm. Uh, I was going to live in California my entire life. So to make the decision that this is, this is a change I wanted for us, for me yeah. and to actually do it is, was pretty badass because I'm not, I don't one know why I forget about that because it was such a crazy, right. but I think that that's a good one for like together that we made. That was pretty badass. Like we literally packed our entire life yeah. and sold our, did it nice home in California. We loved our house for something we had. N we had no, no idea clue. what we were going to get. But what about you individually? Um, I've done a lot of badass things. I enjoyed like playing the battle of bands, uh, at the house of blues one of the very last few shows at the house of blues with a band. I'm now, you know, I, I departed ways with them, but I, I really enjoyed that gig. It's probably one of the biggest crowds I've played to most receptive cloud crowds I've played to. Um, I, I don't know. I think I've just a lot of the things that I, that I say yes to, we talked about. See, when are, I look at your not? life, I think of so many things you've done. Like, like that I are thought, just badass. I thought it was pretty badass that this weekend I went and played with a band I never played before and played drums on songs I've never played so on before. Or like five original songs I've never played on before with them live ever. Yeah. And, and I studied and I practiced. I think playing with the reggae band was pretty badass. That was scary. Yeah. I was nervous. That was um, so badass gets, you know, uh, you have more opportunities for badass experiences when you say yes to the, to the mm -hmm. smaller ones, right? Well, that turned out to be a good question. Yeah, see? All right, next one. What happens regularly, regularly yep, now mm -hmm. <laughs> that would horrify a person from 100 years ago? Uh regularly oh good question do you do you have an answer i do okay i think the destruction of the american constitution oh yeah that's 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 true right now would horrify a person from 100 years ago i think chopping off your junk y yeah because you think you're another gender that would, would horrify. horrify people they'd be like what <laughs> yeah my, i just chopped off my junk mm -hmm. it's my junk yeah you know it's my yeah. fruits my it's my it's my I think there are many things right now in society that would horrify probably uh, people a hundred years ago. All right. Next one. Uh, what's the worst thing you've ever eaten? I was at a school thing and our teacher encouraged us to bring some of our, di some dishes from our culture. And, oh uh, I lived in, in Silmar at the time, which is a very Hispanic culture. And this, these people brought, uh, one of, one of, one of my fellow students brought a, a, a dish they loved, which was, you know how you have pork rinds, right? Oh boy. And they're, they're deep fried, uh -huh. right? Well, these were raw pork skin, it's raw, raw pork skin sitting in this marinade. Uh, uh. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my life. But I tried it. 
my our teacher encouraged us to try it, and I tried it, and I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, so it's like really like it was tangy and <laughs> and mushy. <laughs> I wanted to scrape my tongue. Well, I guess I am not that cultured, but the I tried it. Well, uh, hey, that's way beyond what I mm-hmm. would think. Yeah, the worst thing I've ever eaten is sauerkraut. Come on, that sauerkraut's so good. It's so it's pickled gr- cabbage. It is so gross. I I have an inkling to want to try it one more time as a, an adult. Mm-hmm. But my mom, I remember her specifically cooking that once in the house. Smelled. And the entire house. Tangy. Reeked. It's got a tangy smell to it. I almost threw up with just the smell in the house. Mm-hmm. And to this day, like right now my mouth's watering. See, but that's like normal shit people like. You're just weird, dude. You like, like uh, you, you can't get uh, behind normal shit. Uh, like tomatoes. Uh, okay, move on. Uh, Nobody wants to hear you. Get what's it. the best movie theme song of theme all song. time? Ooh, I love this one. Uh, it was a, it's a, a movie called Say Anything, Ooh. and the song is In Your Eyes, and I just love that scene. I love that song. It's one of my favorite songs ever. And uh, it's a it's a really good movie too, by the way. It's a good love story. I you know I'm not good with movies and themes and stuff like that. I was trying to think of the only thing I could think of was the Titanic, and the only reason why is because I absolutely love that movie oh, yeah, when yeah, it life, came out. Life will go my something go on. My heart will go on. Yes. I think it's Celine Dion, and it's so like cheesy, typical, but. I did love that movie when it came out and that song always kind of stuck, but I, you, yours is brilliant because we watched that movie together yep. and th- that one. is a, an amazing movie a with good, good music. Mm-hmm. All righty then. That is it. That's it. All right. Moving on to the, uh, Oh, and the wise one once said, <laughs> Okay. Deep, deep thought for mm. the week. Mm-hmm. Happiness mm-hmm. held is the seed. Happiness shared is the flower. That's what we try to do on this podcast. Make flowers. <laughs> Jason, hard work puts you where good luck can find you. Mm-hmm. Must, yep. Must believe that, Jason. I do. Yeah. Oh, I thank you. I thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> there are no traffic jams along the extra mile. Also on the toll roads, usually there's not. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's not. Only dead fish go with the flow. I That's true, they're dead. I had to think about that one. I, yeah. I was like, what? Uh, they only dead c- fish they can go only go with, the, with the current, and they usually float to the top, too. Mm. Usually. They say a person needs just three things to be truly happy in this world. Mm-hmm. Someone to love. Mm-hmm. Someone, or no, something to do. Mm. And something to hope for. Mm. I like that. And that is what I'm going to leave you with. Thank you, Mindy. Well, that's it for us this uh, week. If you love what we do and want more of us, we just paid for did it. Did you read the so podcast well question? Yeah. I think you so. did? I don't you. remember you reading it. What is it? Gave it oh, to yeah, you did. You threw it my way. Mm-hmm. In your opinion, what are the seven wonders of the world? Oh, I didn't read it. I don't remember reading that. Well, the podcast question for next week is, <laughs> in your opinion, what are the seven wonders of the world? Yeah. Well, she says next, next week, but you just never know. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you love what we do and want more of us, we just paid for our website. So check it out. LowTreeStudios.com. The link is provided in the show notes. <laughs> Do you really have show notes? It's just, it says, the, okay, there's a thing about show notes, right? And and John, John. Uh, Buchanan. Uh, of the Brand X podcast, which I listened to Brand X on the way home from my drive from Orlando. I listened to the May. I haven't listened to June yet. I listened to May where Diane was in the room. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, 
he, I remember him, re- I could be completely wrong. So John, correct me. I don't think he listens much, but do let John know that I said this <laughs> and, 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 and come right back to this point in the show where he kind of ranted about people not putting in good show notes. And I've done that before. I've put in great show notes. Show notes are supposed to help you become more searchable, all these things. It doesn't do shit. (laughs) So I just, I simplify my life. I say the latest is up and I put the link to our podcast. That's all I put. It doesn't make a difference. I've done it one way. I've done it the other. We've actually thought about going back to being called uh, evening radio podcast. Cause I think Jason and Mindy podcast kind of has fucked it up for us in terms of people finding us. They don't, who's Jason and Mindy. They don't know who we are. Yeah, right. Yeah. Not, it's a celebrity induced sort of world. Now they've all taken is. over. It's so sad. Cause it when we first started podcasting, nobody podcast. Yeah. There was hardly any celebrity so they, Other than like the Joe Rogan and the... So you've got to have a good name, you know, like Brand X, right? Um, I think we might go back to evening radio. And I think, uh, Christine or uh, Val, uh, you have to let me know what you want to be called, uh, said that she listens to us no matter what, and she loves the Jason and Mindy name. Um, she didn't really care for the evening radio, but <laughs> I loved that name because it kind of well it were inspired by by morning radio exactly with all these little topics but we always did it in the evening yep yep exactly so that's why we called and it we, that, and but. i loved our logo then and yeah some but of our, who cares it's just us we're having fun it's a, it's it's a monday night and we had some let beverages. us know let us know though i'd like to hear from some others yeah for sure uh enjoy your evening though and your week and thank you for listening to the jason and mindy podcast where we like a radio show try to feature topics that serve as an informative and entertaining break from From life's life's daily daily grind. grind talk to you guys later bye bye